Hi Gemini, welcome to this reading. You might find this resonates more if Gemini is your sun or rising sign. So let's have a look and see the messages that Spirit would like would like you to know at this time. Wow, five of wands already, that's making me think a yes. And I'm gonna say it's most likely a friend. It could be someone like a colleague who has become a friend or um, a family member that they really consider to be like their best friend. But either way, um, someone who primarily they would think of as a, like a go-to core friend. Um, so it could be someone you've spoken to a couple of times or as I said, a mutual friend. Um, I'm hearing for some of you, <laughs> I'm hearing for some of you and I'm not like judging or anything, but maybe you're so, um, let's say you and your person are friends on social media or something, but um, it could be that you're so aware of the things your person posts and who's important to them, you know, their friends and stuff that you feel that you might as well be a mutual friend, but you haven't technically um, spoken with this person or, you know, maybe written to them directly or anything like that. But you're like, I mean, for the amount I know about their friend, I might as well be their friend as well. So that could be your situation, but let's see. Okay, Knight of Swords reverse. This is very interesting. I, you know, I mean, I might be jumping the gun a bit, we'll see, but the feeling I'm getting strongly is that this is someone who knows your person very well. And I don't think your person just sat there and volunteered this confession. I think this friend... I'm just gonna call them a friend, you know, because that's how it's coming through. I think this friend um, sensed something was up or knew something that your person was feeling or thinking and kind of prodded them and nudged them. And I, I think that your person was kind of grateful because it's almost like they were desperate to share this with someone. Okay, so let's see, have they confessed anything? Six of Cups in reverse, okay. Seven of Pentacles reverse. So it's something they were keeping to themselves for a long time. Um, this person's very interesting. It could be a childhood friend um, or someone, someone they're close to but don't see often. You know that kind of person that you could not see them or even speak to them for months or like a year or something, but when you speak next or see each other, it's just easy and effortless and it's not um, a connection or friendship that you have to maintain by talking every single day. Um, but you know, you really trust each other. It's that kind of feeling I'm getting. Okay, let's keep going. We have the Queen of Swords. Yeah, this person is very perceptive, very direct, not like blunt and rude or anything like that, but um, it's like, look, I see you're thinking of something. I see that you're wanting to say something. So what's on your mind? That kind of directness. Yeah, we have the devil in reverse. So we've got Capricorn here. But this was something that was weighing heavily on your person. They might have been obsessively thinking about it. So this person, this friend, this other person, this mutual, you know, person you both know could have been um, sensing and seeing that your person was distracted. Let me move this. Is it a bit? Eh, probably better with it. It's a bit bright though. <clears throat> Okay, what else? Has this person confessed anything to someone they know and my viewer knows, please? The world, seven of swords and the ace of cups. I think they have. And I think when they confessed this, it was a feeling of relief. Um, like, great, I'm glad that's, you know, I'm not carrying that around on my shoulders by myself anymore, but at the same time, you need to keep this a secret. So whoever this is, they told them, you know, this stays between us. Um, and I do not think your person would have volunteered this up, as I said, without being nudged by this person who's coming up as a queen of swords. So they could be um, a woman or just a strong feminine energy here. It doesn't have to be a woman. Um, but yeah, I think this is someone who said, look, I see something's going on, speak, what's happening? You're not being yourself, you're distracted. I know you're thinking about something or you seem worried or concerned about something. With the Ace of Cups, of course, they could have confessed to this person that they have these feelings for you that maybe with the Seven of Swords, they feel it's not appropriate to have or if there's someone else in the picture, they shouldn't feel this way. Um, but I'm also reading this Ace of Cups as a feeling, because we can sometimes read this card as um, love for self. You know, it's almost like a breath of fresh air, a release, like, wow, I'm so glad I got that off my chest. I can relax um, and now I can get out of this 
almost obsessive energy, you know, obsess obsessing in my thoughts and into this place of peace and calm and I can sort of feel better about myself. Um, so let me have a look as this person has shown up as this queen of swords a bit more at who this is to give you some ideas and then i'll have a look at what what did they share with this person oh the moon pisces there look see i think what they shared is something around how they feel about you so i don't think it's anything you know bad or anything like that but they could be saying because of the situation they shouldn't have feelings or they haven't told anyone about their feelings until you know, telling this person Okay, let's see we've got Gemini here we have the lovers okay Queen of Swords can you tell us more about who this person was that my viewers person confessed something to and it's really interesting I didn't change the phrasing of the request which was confessed so confessed is interesting isn't it it's not just oh I'm sharing with you that I had a cheese sandwich for lunch it's like this is a big thing to me it feels private it's a secret and sometimes you know when we're confessing something it comes almost with a, a feeling of guilt or shame or um we've done something we shouldn't and I you know this seven of swords I, like I said I don't know if there are other people other relationships in the picture or if because of the situation they're saying look it's not appropriate that I feel this but I do they're not ashamed of their feelings for you but they're, they're acknowledging there is something about the situation that maybe isn't ideal and it has to be a secret for some reason okay queen of swords yep see absolutely this is someone who's very maybe in general perceptive or they just know your person so well it's like i can see clearly that you are stressed out they could even have been you know bickering with this person and, and this person's like this isn't you what's going on this could definitely be an air sign. We've got Queen of Swords and two more um, Swords cards. So it could be a Gemini, Libra or an Aquarius. Uh, someone maybe who is quite cerebral. I feel I've seen this energy um, in these collective readings before when I've been asking a similar-ish questions like, you know, has your sp person spoken about you to anyone? There's this, this friend sort of figure or like a mentor or something that comes through who's pretty cerebral. Um, yeah you look, look see very aware very perceptive i know you're stressed out i know you're thinking about something i know you're um you're struggling to figure something out in your mind i can see that you're distracted what's going on um i would say because we don't have cups here we've got all swords as i said we've got this mental connection cerebral sort of connection and attitude here that this could be someone they go to in a professional context but then i'm not sure how well you would know that person as well you know um okay what else please what else can you tell us about this person Four of Cups reverse, so that to me is that Ace of Cups, but there's been a past, there's been a history here, so yeah, they told this person, we've got the Moon again, Pisces, that they have these big secret feelings for you. Seven of Cups reversed, and it just felt like a relief to share this. Um, no more, you know, just thinking about it in their head, actually being able to get it out there and, you know, just speak their truth and to have someone else know. I also feel the act of telling somebody else grounded this for them. It made it real for them. You know, it wasn't, it sort of took it out of the realm of, oh, I'm fantasizing about you and that sort of thing, um, which I think actually was nice. Okay, so let's see more then, because I'm pretty certain what they shared was their interest, attraction, feelings, love even for you. But let's have more of a look. What exactly did they share with this person? Also, just to say with the moon, you know, as I keep saying, this this person they shared with seems perceptive, but they could also be very intuitive as well. It, but they might not be someone who shows it. Like, it's the, you know, I'm not saying this person walks around wearing crystals and talking about, you know, spirituality and tarot and stuff, but they could just have a, a strong sense of intuition and they trust it, but it comes out in a very logical way. Okay, page of wands, ten of wands reversed. Okay, for some of you, this person's already in a connection with someone else or a relationship, and that's the secrecy, and they're saying, look, I have this desire, this passion with the page of wands for you, the viewer, um, and I really want to move forward, but I know I shouldn't because with the ten of wands reversed, I'm still in a connection that hasn't ended, um, and I can't move forward with, with 
you <laughs> um, until I end this other thing and I don't know what to do about it. We have the devil in reverse, yeah, Capricorn again. So sharing perhaps the degree of passion they have, but also that it's something that they can't stop thinking about and they can't see a way forward here. They could even have been doing things to try and distract themselves. So they could have confessed to this person, I've been doing some things that aren't healthy for me to try and cope with this. Like um, any, you know, anything that takes our mind off of something. So whether it's um, overindulgence or doing something destructive, which I suppose overindulging is or can be. But yeah, confessing they have, they haven't been doing the best things. They've just been trying to cope. We have the fall in reverse, Aries, Aquarius, energy there. Yeah, there's such a feeling of, I want to start something new, but I can't because something else is in the way. And if there's no relationship on their side, if it's not a third party situation, it could just be, I really want to move forward with this, but I've got to sort myself out first. I don't, I don't feel like I'm doing well enough within myself to make any kinds of offers. Um, and I feel like it might be a long road to overcome this, this heavy energy. Um, but I don't want to miss out with the seven of pentacles on this opportunity. I don't know what to do. Yep, six of cups. So a confession of how connected they feel to you, um, that it could have happened instantly, that they, they can't really explain it, but it just feels like, you know, you've always known each other, even if you haven't. Um, also, let's say you're part of the same group, whether it's work, friends, you're connected because you know one of their family members or something like that. Um, I think there's a bit of a confession that their feelings are not just friendly, their feelings have developed into something more and there could be a fear of making a pre-existing dynamic awkward. Um, yeah, okay. Four of Wands, yep, as I'm saying, there's some sort of foundation here that this person who's doing, you know, giving the confession, your person is saying, I probably shouldn't have these feelings. I probably shouldn't want to take the action I want to take, but I do have the feelings and I do want to act. So yeah, it could be a relationship, it could be family wouldn't approve in their opinion. It could be because of where they work or you work or where you both work together. They're saying I shouldn't feel this way. Again, I'm looking at the cobwebs and the leaves. For some reason, they're making me think of different seasons. So this is something this person held on to for a long time before sharing it. And they, they weren't even looking to share it. I do think this other person kind of got them to open up. We have the nine of wands and we have the three of wands reversed. Yes. Okay. So I do think the reason they did open up when they had the opportunity to this, this person that you um, both know or both are, are both aware of and trust is because by this point, even, <clears throat> excuse me, even though their attraction for you is a positive thing, not being able to move forward and not being able to come up with solutions to problems that they could see, it, it was becoming heavy you know nine of wands the devil reverse it's like they were they were starting to really struggle with this and however they thought about it however they approached it they were making no headway no progress um and there's a real frustration the full reverse three of wands reverse the thing that i want the thing i would love to manifest i can't seem to to make happen um so it's almost like right i'll i'll tell you because you've asked and i trust you do you have any ideas what should i do and it was just a relief to not be carrying this alone Okay, on the back, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yep, I feel stuck. I'm not moving forward anywhere. But also my feelings aren't changing and I don't intend to let go of my love or my attraction or my desire um, for, for you, you know, the viewer. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see what else. Anything else, please? So what I will say is I don't think they've shared anything that would betray your trust. They haven't shared anything about you. So if they know anything specifically just about you, they're keeping that to themselves. All they've shared is how they feel about you um, and their own sort of hopes and stresses around that. So they've completely left you out of it. They've not even said 
that um, you're aware of how they feel or that they've spoken to you or what your reaction was or your hopes or intentions, anything like that. Um, even if you've spoken about this with your person, they, they've left you out of it completely and they've not shared anything private and personal just about you. It's So they've respected, you know, your boundary and, and your privacy here. Okay, we have, oh my goodness, we have destiny. Yeah, you know, we saw the lovers earlier. We've got the six of cups, we've got destiny. Um, we've got the person in black and the person in white, the yin and the yang. So they have shared with this person, I cannot escape this and I feel that it's meant to be and I've never felt anything like this. I don't even know what this means, especially if this is someone who isn't spiritual or religious or has never really given thought to anything like this. It's just like, well, what is this? I can't, you know, the devil. The devil, I think it was reversed twice. Um, so it's like they're just about, do we have the devil twice or once? Maybe it was just once. They're just about holding off on this becoming a full-blown obsession or, you know, at least whenever they were talking to this person. But it's like, I cannot stop thinking about this because I feel that this was destined. It feels, you know, it feels so natural. So it flows so well. It feels that we already know each other. Um, what do I do? What do I do? We have rejection. Okay, so they could have been saying, do you think they will like me back? Or do you think they will reject me? Um, do you think, as I said, if the problem is this foundation, do you think my family will reject me or our friend group? Or, you know, is work going to be okay with this? So really, again, talking about their hopes and the fact that they have no intention of letting this connection go, but also their fears around how well can this really work? Um, can it work out? could be someone who is very creative i'm looking at the paintbrushes um i'm thinking of your person here um someone who thinks a lot as well someone who's a bit of a philosopher here someone who could be an overthinker i also wonder if this person is creative in any sort of a way if they've created something that you know a piece of art or anything about you and this very intuitive perceptive person over here that they've made this confession to realized um, and they were like, hold on, that really looks like, you know, you, the viewer, or isn't that so-and-so, or this sounds like, you know, the friend that we have, or whatever it is. Um, they could have done something that they thought was subtle and put it out there, but this person picked up on it. I'm hearing um, for somebody they might have, have named something after you. I don't know if it's a product, a painting, a song, um, even if they've got a pet. You know, if they recently got a pet, they might have called it your name or given it a nickname that, that I don't know, they have given you in their head or, or something like that. Something about naming something. Okay, what else? I'm noticing how both of these cards have the grey borders, which is connected to the crown chakra. So, yeah, definitely confessing that this is kind of a profound experience that they're having and it doesn't entirely make sense to them. Um, and maybe feeling some overwhelm. Okay, what else? I just thought it was really grounding for them to share with this um, other person. Yeah, now we have the red, so the root chakra, and we have perfection. Okay, so this is um, this is them saying they feel that you are perfect for them, but doubting themselves. Again, would you reject them? So for some of you, this is a person who hasn't told you about their feelings, but you know, they've told someone else about their feelings for you. And we have expansion. Um, blue throat chakra here. Yeah, it's almost like, do you think I should tell them how I feel? Do you think they would reject me? Do you think if we have this conversation, it could lead to growth? on the back gossip yeah so I think this was a friend they were talking to also you know do you think I'd be rejected by the community by our friends by my job or you know whatever it is do you think people would understand this connection um if you know there's something that society might think is slightly unusual about your connection um or whatever community you're in or they're in um yeah do you do you think we'd be accepted do you think we'd be gossiped about do you think we'd be pushed out of the community i did hear a message coming through that um for some of you or just someone this isn't necessarily a person who's still in the 3d this could be someone who's um you know crossed back into spirit form but someone you both knew um and they still kind of communicate with this person you know this could be someone who's now one of their guides or they just feel feel like I don't know, feel a sense of peace when, when they sort of 
talk to this person or feel that this this person's still around them and is listening um okay so i will leave this here like i said i think the confession um it's yeah they have not crossed any of your boundaries or exposed you in any way i think it's really um the confession of their feelings and their hopes but feeling like maybe i'll be rejected or maybe you know the the situation is is something about timing or circumstances you know i just don't know what to do if your person felt that they were able to figure out a plan and move forward i don't think they would have shared this i think it's just because for so long they felt backed into a corner and it's like right i've got nothing to lose at this point and i trust this person so i might as well confess and see if they can help okay so i will leave this here so thank you so much for watching i hope it helped or there were some messages here for you um if you celebrate christmas merry christmas i hope you have a lovely time if not i hope you just have a lovely weekend and i will be back on monday okay bye oh actually no i oh, well i've already recorded um zodiac twin flame um readings so they will be out tomorrow but um yeah in terms of me sitting down here i'll be back monday <laughs> okay bye